Okay, in this screencast we're going to learn how to upload a heading that we've created at Flaming Text onto our collaborative space that we've created. So we want our heading to go in this space up here and to do that we need to add an application to our page called a publication display. So to do that we go down to the global navigation bar at the bottom, the orange hand, and scroll up to add applications and we click on that and it brings up our applications menu and we could look for the application we want by opening these folders and the one that we want is in content management or we could if we know the name of it start to type it up the top and the applications with those letters in them will um, show up in the list so the one that we want is called a publication display so we'll just click on the add button and our publication display is placed on the page. Now we're doing a heading, it's quite big, so we don't want it to be in this small space over here. So if we click on the heading up the top there, publication display or the title, and we drag that, click, hold and drag that over to the other side of the page, we can drop it in that yellow space. And now we have a bigger space for our heading to live in. Now what we want to do is add our publication. So we click on the little icon with the green plus on it and that will open a window for us where we can upload our picture. So the first thing that's really important to do is to type a name for this publication. And we won't be able to read that on the screen, but it names our publication in case we wanted to use this heading in another space. So I'm going to write what it is. It's called a natural disasters heading. So I'll just write that there. And then I click into the white space below and I'm going to put my cursor in the middle. So I'll go up to the toolbar and click on the centre justify button to put my cursor just here because I want my heading to be in the middle. And then I need to upload that heading. So I need to click on the content button, which is just here, the one with the little landscape picture. So it says content and landscape. Click on that one. And another window appears where I can upload I'll just bring it down a bit so you can see it, where I can upload the picture. So here's all the images that I've uploaded in the past. If I click on this button with the green arrow that says Upload Images, I can go and get my heading, Flaming Text heading, from my computer. So I'll click on Add Files, and it brings up the browse box for my computer. And I know that I have put my picture on the desktop, so if I click on Desktop, and I go over here, I can see this is my heading, my natural disasters heading that I've saved from Flaming Text. So I click on that one, open that, and it puts it into this here. And in the little tags box down the bottom, because I already have the heading, the file name is there, the title is there, and that's okay. Just need to add a tag to that, and I'm just going to call it a heading. So if I wanted to find it later, I could search for headings. I'll click on Upload, and I must say that I have not used a picture that includes any privacy information about anybody else. So this is just a heading, so I can click that box and say that my material does not contain personal information about others, because I would not be able to upload a picture of other people without their permission. So I can click on Continue, because it, it's not information that's been sourced from publicly available publications and I did not need to go and get a permission form from anybody to upload it. So I just need to tick that box, click on continue, my file will upload. And now I can see that it's thinking, it's uploading my picture or my heading and I'm just waiting for an OK button over here. And I know it's going to come soon because I can see the green tick underneath. So there's my OK button, I click on OK, and here's my heading now. It's in my content and available for me to use. So if I put a little tick in there next to my heading, add selected, there's my picture, and now it's about me resizing that. So if I click on it, I get some handles, and I can resize my heading to be the size that I want it to be. There's another way of resizing headings, and that's to right click on the picture and go down to image properties and if we experiment here with widths and heights we can work out how big we want it to do. So this is a measurement in pixels 
and if I want it to be a bit bigger I might say 600 I can type that into the width and it will change the height by itself so I'll say OK and now my heading is there and I need to scroll down the page and there are three save buttons the first time we make a publication display we must click on save and approve to approve that publication or that heading for publishing on our page so I'll approve that one because I'm happy with that heading and there's my heading on the page now what I might want to do is to take this background away so if I go up to the little cog up here and I go into look and feel I get lots of options about how that application might look but the only one that I need now is the one under portlet configuration so I'll click on that one and I want to take away the borders and the borders are this white bit here so I want to click there save that and then when it says it's been successful and I have the green tick up here I can close off that window and refresh my page and it will take that background away from my publication so now I've got my heading from flaming text on my page